What you guys got another video here for you. This one was a video request from one of my YouTube members. He said he's getting an error message anytime he plays any video or any music files. And this is the error message he's getting. He's getting Windows Media Player server execution failed, just like the error message you see in front of you right now. Now this error message is pretty common and uh, the best way to go about uh, fixing it is the way I'm going to show you right now. Now he said he's tried quite a few videos on YouTube and they haven't quite worked out for him and he said the problem still exists and it still happens. So I'm going to show you how to quickly and completely fix this once and for all and you won't get any problems with it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we back up all our library and all our uh, artwork and stuff like that. So this is the best way to go about that. And then we're going to reinstall uh, Windows Media Player. That's probably your best bet because it's got corrupted somewhere along the line. So let's uh, get started. So, OK, we're at the desktop now and we're on Windows 8.1 machine here. Now, this will be the same if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, any of those operating systems you want to make sure that you back up all your library and database and artwork first okay before you continue if you do this then you will lose all that if you don't back it up okay so make sure you back up first before you do what i'll show you to do otherwise you will lose it and i'll show you how to back up as well so we're on windows 8 here so we're going to come down to the little uh little windows icon here and we're going to right click on this and uh, we're going to go to file explore now once you get here we're going to go into the C drive and uh, we want to go into users and then the account yours will be your account go into there now you won't see this uh, app data here if you don't see that then don't worry we can quickly do that in Windows 8.1 you can go to view here go to options and then go to view and then show hidden files, folders and drives. You want to make sure that's on now. Uh, you can see me do this on Windows 7 as well. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, and you also, I'm going to just leave the hide extensions for known file types out. I just don't like that on. And then click that and then you should see this uh, folder here. Go into the app data and then local and then Microsoft. And then you want to go into media player here. Now inside this media player, this is where all your database is going to be. You can see here there's a, a library database. Now look at the size of this. Yours will be massive if you've got a lot of music inside here. OK, so what you want to do is make sure you back up all the contents inside here. OK, so what we're going to do is quickly put a folder on our desktop. And we're going to call this backup. Uh, backup. WMP Windows Media Player and uh, we're just going to highlight these like so and then copy these and then paste them into our folder here okay now once you've done that we're going to go close so now we've got this all backed up now remember yours will be massive if you've got a lot of files inside there okay this is just really small and uh, I'm just showing you how to do it so once you've done that, what we need to do is now uninstall Windows Media Player. This is the best way to go about it because it will fix all the issues that you may be having, i.e. corruption or anything like that. It's just going to get that all out of the way. Now you can re-register DLL files and do other stuff, but honestly, this is probably your best way to go. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to the bottom left-hand corner again. Go to Control Panel and then uninstall the program. Now if you've got the... Uh, icons look like this you want to go to programs and features okay and if you're on the category look you want to make sure you go to uninstall a program click on this and then you want to go up to where it says turn windows features on or off let this populate it might take a bit of time and then what you want to do here is come down to where it says media files and if you open this up you'll see windows media player here okay so I'm just going to take the tick out of this and this will take the uh, tick out of there. Click OK. This will then start to disable that feature on Windows. OK, so that was now completed. And uh, what we want to do here is quickly restart our system. So I'm going to close this off and uh, we're going to restart 
our system. Now if you're using a Windows 7 machine or something like that then it will be slightly different but you need to change them options so you can see the app data folder and do the same thing okay. So quickly restart here. Okay so we're now back at our desktop what we want to do is come back down to the, where the Windows logo here is right click on this and uh, we want to go back to control panel and we want to go back into uninstall a program and then we want to go to where it says turn windows features on or off click on that and we're just going to reverse the process and go into where it says media uh, features here put a tick in there just open it up just to make sure that the windows media file has been ticked as well click OK and this will now start to apply the changes and that's now complete click close so we're going to go to the start button on the bottom left hand corner go file explorer C drive windows the account user account that you're using app data local then Microsoft and then Windows Media Player and there's them files so what you want to do here now is you can snap that to the right hand side if you want open up the backup WMP which we created earlier on and you want to make sure that you copy all this content back into there okay so copy and you paste that into there like so yours might take a bit of time or you can just drag and drop this in if you wish like so it will probably give you a message like so and it will just say replace these files in the destination like so and I've done that twice as you can see there but we can skip this now but basically that is how you can copy those files across and then when you play your Windows Media Player it should fire up and work just fine so that's basically how you can quickly fix that error message. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out, guys. If it does, then give it the thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or problems with your computers or anything like that, you can head over to my forum. The information is on the screen right now. And join up over there. It's free of charge. And uh, post all your stuff on there. If you want me to do a video review, you can always post over on there. It'll be easier for me to uh, answer you over there because there's other texts on there and also it makes it much more easier to check the forum just in case that question's already been answered anyway so i'm going to wrap this one up thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continual support bye for now